What is going on guys? It is your boy Toy Crunch and in today's video we are going to be doing an account showcase, something I haven't done in a while and um, I decided, you know what, screw it, let's go ahead and go with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get into it. So we're going to start off with our technique versions. Uh, we're only going to be looking at the six and five stars, four, threes, twos, and ones don't really matter. Um, so let's just go ahead and get on with it. So Koga, Tag Team Koga, very good character. I use him a lot for PvP. That's what I use him for. That he's my go-to PvP character. He's amazing. Kills Broken. Um, he's just the perfect a matchup for Broken, and I love him for that. He's still good at PvE as well. So, um, very good character. I really like him. Uh, there's Apache, a very good normal attack character. I usually use her for normal attack if I want to. I use a normal attack character for my techniques. Uh, so I use her for that. She's good. She's still good. Um, uh, there's Tensa and Fullbring Ichigo. So these two are good characters. I was able to get both of them. They're very similar. Uh, just in the fact that they're both. Um, they have really high uh, SP. And then they have Frenzy. Uh, the only difference is that one's mainly suited for PvE. And the other is suited for both. Kind of. So. Uh, Tensa being the PvE one with his 12 recharge time, which I think is really good for him. He does, uh, he can spam his strong attacks, which is nice. Uh, Fulbring Ichigo has 20 uh, strong attack damage, so he's good at PvP and he's still good at PvE. So, uh, I think just Fulbring Ichigo might have a little bit more versatility, but uh, both awesome characters, love them both. Um, and then the rest are all just kind of character links. Uh, for example, Izuru, Ikaku, Love, um, Riruka, of course, Izuru and Riruka being the better ones for the links, but uh, there's like Kenny that I still kind of use actually for auto farming the blue Ichigo raids. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, pretty happy with my technique characters. I've got the the better ones, I guess you could say. You know, with Koga, Fullbring, and Tensa, um, really like my my characters. Um, uh, keep in mind, we're also going to look at uh, accessories after the characters, so we're going to get into that soon. Um, but now we get to heart. Uh, we've got Tag Team Jushiro, Stark, Nelio, and Gen. Um, of course, the first two, uh, Tag Team Ichigo, I mean Tag Team Ichigo, Tag Team Jushiro, and Stark being really good normal attack characters. One of the better ones in the game. And they're actually, um, they were released really uh, one after another, you know. And uh, I really like both. If I had to choose, I like Jushiro just slightly better. Uh, just because he's ranged and he's really cool. Uh, but they're both awesome characters. Nelio, a really good soul link of 14 recharge time. And she's a good character because she's got frenzy and high SP. So a very good PvE character for sure. Gain though, um, a complete monster in PvP and PvE. I really like him. They did a really good job on this one. Um, I do slightly like him a little more than than Elio. I think he's my favorite strong attack damage character actually for heart version. So yeah, uh, that's Gen. Um, White, I really like him, but then again, kind of disappointed in the fact that he gets that 30% damage when dying. That's his soul link. I wish he would have gotten normal attack or strong attack damage link. It would have been better that way. 30 when dying is not the best in my opinion. But he's still a good option. Uh, and then you've got, of course, Tsukishima, Fullbring Ichigo. I mean, Toshiro. I keep saying Ichigo. Fullbring, uh, Toshiro, uh, Sajin. You know, really good characters. SC Ukiora, my boy. Uh, OG Ukiora, my boy. I, know, I need to level 200 of them very soon. But, you know, I think Heart Version is the most stacked attribute in the game, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, those are that. Uh, look at that. Tw two of those Shunsus. I need to level those two up for the normal attack damage link. But we move on to Power Attribute now. And this is where we get to Tag Team Ichigo. I can actually say it this time. So, Tag Team Ichigo, really good option. I really like him because of his double killer effect. I know a lot of people really don't like him all that much, but he's awesome in my opinion. He's a good character. Um, of course, you've got Mila Rose, which is a really good character as well. Kind of not someone that's too popular. Not many people talk about her, but a very good option. Um, frenzy, hybrid, kind of like a Koga in a way, but PvE, more more oriented towards PvE. Uh, we've got Nemu, a uh, healing character. I love her for that. I use her for strictly just that, whenever I want to heal or something. Um, but uh, then we get on to the, these three right here. Um, Armored Yoruichi, Noitora, and Fu, uh, Fullbring Uryu. Very good characters. My favorite power character in the game is Noitora just because of his complete overall like abilities to just dominate through his normal attacks. You know, his, he's got a really nice clean normal attack and then he has Flurry um, and he has high attack. So I really like him. He's the best in my opinion. Um, of course, 
uh, Yoroichi is amazing, super quick and agile. Uryu, ranged, very good normal attack character. He also has, um, what is it, a 25 Natalink. So, very good characters overall. I really like them all. Um, but like I said, Noitora stands at the top. Uh, attack Team Ichigo, maybe around second or third. And Armor Yoroichi in there as well. Uryu at fourth. You know, very good characters. Um, I actually recently just started getting good attribute, power attribute characters. So I'm happy I turned it around. Um, the rest are all pretty good, uh, decent characters you can try out whenever you're bored. Um, one being a good option to try out is Visor Ichigo. He's a good character to try out. He's actually pretty strong. Um, the rest are all dupes. Five stars are all dupes. Uh, I got another tag team Ichigo. I need to level up these two Uriyus though because 25 Natalink would be nice. Uh, but we move on to speed characters. Here we started off with uh, Holly Bell. Um, this is the new Holly Bell. A lot of people really didn't like her all that much. Kind of overlooked in my opinion. But she's actually really good. So um, I actually do recommend you leveling her to 200 and trying her out because she's a good option hits super hard through her special she's kind of like Hogyoku Aizen with the complete tank special love her she's awesome fun character to try out uh, second anniversary Ichigo of course there's not much to say other than you know everyone's already mentioned it or said it in a video amazing he's so much fun he's probably the one I've been using the most in the last month or so I wouldn't be surprised just because he's fun to use he has that third strong attack that's awesome and hits super hard and it's like having a special every 30 seconds or 20 seconds. Yeah, so I love him. He's a great character. Yami, of course, another amazing... Just kidding. Uh, Yami's all right. Uh, yeah, 12 recharge time. And actually, he's actually he's kind of useless, if anything. But um, if you want to troll around, use him, and try him out, go ahead. Go be my guest. Uh, Yukio, he's actually a very good character. Level 200 has really high uh, SP, and then he also has Frenzy. Uh, so a very good character only thing about him is his is so link But if you can overlook that if you can kind of just set that aside you should be fine He's a very good character broken not much to say other than that. He's my PvP God like him Koga and a character that I'll mention in a second are my The ones I go with so of course very good character still Even PvE, but I don't like him too much for PvE just because he's kind of slow in my opinion uh, but the rest are all characters that were really good at some point, but maybe not the greatest at uh, in, right now. Uh, like, for example, Christmas Holly Bell. Mashiro was pretty good. Don Guy Ichigo, amazing still. I think he's still pretty good. Jushiro, one of them as well. But uh, I mainly use these for, for Soul Links. Uh, I'm going to level up 200 Don Guy, though, just to use him. And, of course, Dupe City when it comes to 5 stars. So I've mainly maxed out all my 5 stars. There's not really that much to discuss when it comes to those. Uh, right here, my favorite character, S.E. Ukiyora. This is the Mayan attribute uh, characters, and I really, 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 really like S.E. Ukiyora. I know a lot of people might not love him, but I do. He's awesome. Third tr charged up strong attack. It's like a special. He charges up every... He has a 12% recharge time. Not that, Obviously, he's not good for PvP, but for PvE, where it is that... What, what the game is mainly uh, known for, at least, at least when it comes to me... I enjoy PvE much more than PvP, and, you know, I don't mind the 12 recharge time. Um, I have Rose right here that has 14 recharge time, and once I've leveled everything up and I've gotten some um, inheritance done, I'm going to be putting him as a Soul Link, which is the perfect character. 14 recharge time with good stats, so very good option there. And, of course, Ririka, Swimsuit Ririka. I got all the Swimsuit characters. I don't know how I did it, but... Swimsuit Uruka, very good normal attack character. Highest attack in the game, which is insane. Grim Jow, my other, my third puzzle piece to my PvP team, which is awesome. He's so good. Easily, in my opinion, the best PvP uh, mind character in the game. Love him. And, uh, of course, the rest are all kind of like Soul Links. For example, Rose I already mentioned. Genjo, he's all right. He kind of like slipped off. Like, he's not the greatest. Um, but he's okay. He's a good hybrid character to use whenever you want to switch it up. Um... We'll bring Biakuya, Renji, good Soul Links. They were, they're decent characters still, but mainly used for Soul Links in my opinion. A character I do want to level up, a couple characters I want to level up is uh, Mind Gen and Follow Ichigo, just to test them out and try them out. Um, but yeah, mainly Soul Links for those characters, and of course, Dupe City. Yeah, m not much to say. So that is my characters. Let's go ahead and look at my accessories. So now let's take a look at my accessories. We're going to go again attribute by attribute. Let's just take a look at these. So this is my cape with 30 SP. This one's very, this is one of my favorite uh, accessories because uh, I could use it on Koga, uh, Fobring Ichigo, 
and um, Tensa. So my best technique characters are able to use this, and it's 30 SP, which is always nice. Um, that's a very good roll. Um, of course, and on top of that, the 40 stamina. So I really like that uh, cape or rope. Uh, rope, robe, uh, and then we've got 4040. This one is actually better for PvP in my opinion. I use this one for Koga for PvP, um, and it's it works wonders, man. It's awesome. Uh, tension tie. I've also got 30 SP on it, so probably my second favorite, <laughs> just because I can literally do 30 30. I can't do 30 30. You guys will see, uh, but 30 30 is pretty nice. Um, I really like that tension tie. This one's 24 stam. I need to reroll that or just get rid of it. Uh, this one is 20 attack, which is not the greatest in my opinion, but it's, it is what it is. We've got 30 attack on this Hojikuza though. That's not bad. Um, this one has 40 stamina, which is really nice. I like. Um, this right here is 20 attack. So as you guys can see, we, can, we have decent attack accessories. This right here is a 40 stamina headband. You know, 40 stamina, you want to keep those. They're, they're decent. They're going to be okay. This right here is 20 SP on my on my book. I mainly use that just to when I'm leveling up characters. Uh, this right here is my 6% attack. I don't need that. That's just I might just reroll that actually, or use it to reroll something else. This is 40% stamina on my uh, shield, and then Yuki has 40 stamina plus 20 uh, stamina and 20 SP. So a really nice one. Uh, Pupples as well, 40 stamina, 20 attack, 20 uh, stamina. And then Pupples right here, 40 stem. Oh, I got two of these. God, you see the struggle, boys? No, I'm kidding. Um, that's a. I, I'll, I'll try to reroll one of those for like attack, maybe. But right here, uh, we've got 40 stamina on this uh, uh, Chappy. This one has 20 SP. Great. Um, and then this has uh, 40, uh, 40 attack. So very good accessories. I'm really happy with my technique accessories. They they've been able to get better over time and they're very good for my strong attack characters which is mainly what I have for technique characters but um, now we look at our heart accessories 10% on my spirit core um, this one right here has 40 stamina which is slightly better my tension tie has 20 attack great another one that I really don't like I don't like attack on my tension ties just because when you look at making a very good attack character you want to get some chappies in there maybe get rid of the SP and having an attention tie that requires SP to be useful for the special isn't a great option uh, and of course this one has 30 attack which uh, I'll take I'll take um, this right here is my Hojikuza with 20 attack which is decent I'd like to get 30 attack on that though I'll try to reroll that this has 40 stamina on my headband this has also 40 stamina this has 40 stamina this one right here I'm not complaining about because 40 40 is always nice uh, for my Stark it works perfect um, right here another thing is 30 focus that one doesn't really matter um, this right here is 30 SP so my shield has 30 SP which is really nice I really like that uh, this one has uh, my Yuki has 20 SP I, I want to try to reroll that for 30 SP but for 20 SP is good still as it is so I've got pretty good SP rolls I, I kind of didn't really saw that see that coming actually I kind of forgot about them um, my Yuki right here has 10% all stats which is decent but um, it's always better to get SP plus 30. Uh, this Chappie right here, boys, it has 30 attacks. So this one's a very good Chappie. Um, I'm hoping that someday I can get gold Chappies at some point. You know, if, if, if the K-Lab gods can throw me down a Chappie, that'd be nice. Um, 40 stamina, uh, pretty basic rolls. This right here, uh, though, is actually pretty nice. Um, it only works on my T Tsukishima, right? But it's it's got 30 SP, um, which actually it does. The 30 SP can work on any heart character. Uh, but you know, if you want to get that 40%, you have to have um, Tsukishima basically. So this is perfect for Tsukishima. I need a level 200 him because already off the bat, we would have a perfect uh, accessory for him. But that is my heart character or accessories. Uh, pretty decent, I would say. I still need to work on it a little, but not bad. My power attribute, as you can see, 40 stamina, 40 stamina on that cape or rope. Uh, which rope, rope, god damn it, is pretty good. Um, we've got this uh, this uh, tension tie with 30 SP, which is very good, guys. Very good. I really like that. Uh, this right here has uh, 6%. I need to reroll that or get rid of it. 40% uh, stamina on my Hojikuzai. This has 20 attack, 20 attack, so not bad. This right here has, uh, that doesn't matter. Um, this right here has 40% stamina. We're gonna try to get through these fast because some of them really don't matter. This is a uh, 20 SP, which is not bad, uh, not too bad. Right here, 10% all stats, 
good option uh, for Mila Rose. I actually use it on Mila Rose, and it's actually okay because um, she is a hybrid character, so it works. Um, right here, another thing just to level up things, uh, accessories, but it, it does have 20 SP. Um, this right here is nice. My shield has 30 attack, which is really nice to use that on Otor, as you guys can see. We've got right here our Yuki with 30 attack, man. This is what... I, like when it comes to my red accessories like my red characters my my hybrid build is perfect because I have a Pupples with 30 SP as well so uh, 30 30 but for the opposite uh, accessory if we could switch those around that would be better but whatever it's I'll take it I'll take it this has a 20% stamina I think I need to level it up or no maybe it don't I think that's just 20% stamina I didn't know that even existed yeah, whatever. Um, and then we've got 30 focus on that choppy that I need to reroll. 40 stamina, that's okay, I guess I'll keep. And then, of course, 40 stamina on our, on our watch. I think my power uh, attributes do need a little bit more help. Um, but now we look at our speed accessories. 10% uh, all stats. 30 attack. 30 attack. 30 attack so this this is a little frustrating like the game gave me 30 attack on three robes and I don't want to like get rid of them just because I'll use them I guess I'll use one on Kenny which works perfect I'll use one on Dongai which is I guess perfect actually and then I'll use one on second anniversary Ichigo so I don't have to switch them out in and out but if I could have gotten one with SP that would have been better uh, tension tower right here this has 20 SP which is pretty decent this has 40 stamina and then our Hojuki's at 40 stamina. This uh, has 30 attack, which is really nice. I have it on my second year anniversary Ichigo right now. I usually use them with a hybrid, which works perfect. 40 stamina on that headband. And then these have, this has 10, no, that has 20 SP. Yeah, 20 SP on that um, incomplete Hogyoku. 40 stamina on that one. And then this has 6% stamina, spiritual pressure, which is useless. This right here has 30 uh, S attack, 30 attack on my Yuki. <laughs> so a good hybrid accessory, of course, though I'd rather have SP. Um, 40 stamina, and then this one has uh, 28 focus, great. Um, this has 40 stamina, and then of course this one has 30 attack, which is pretty damn good. Only really useful on Yuki, uh, on Yukio though, so whatever. But now we look at my mind accessories, uh, the last one of these, uh, and it's this one has 30 attack on my attention tie. Another one that's just kind of like, why? Why can't I get SP uh, attention tie with 40 stamina? Um, Hojiku Zai with 40 stamina. Headband with 30 attack, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, incomplete Hogyoku with 20 spiritual pressure, 40 40 on that, which is nice, and then. 6% on focus, oh god, this has 20, uh, 40 uh, stamina, which is nice for my PvP, I usually use this for a specific character, this has 30 SP, this is probably another one of my better accessories, my Yuki with 30 SP, so works perfect on the new uh, SE Ukiura, add up that uh, SP, you know, and then Pupples with 10% all stats, another Pupples with 40 stamina, and then we've got this this Chappie right here with 30 attack. My second accessory with 30 attack, or second Chappie with 30 attack, which is really nice. I really like that. Works perfect for Ryuka. And then we've got 12 stamina, which I need to upgrade or reroll. And then 40 stamina. And then of course 10 uh, watch with 20 uh, SP. So pretty decent. Anyways, that is all. That is my account. My account is damn good. Wait, wait. Before I end it, let me just go ahead and show you these. My two like uh, anniversary. Uh, accessories 20 uh, or 10 SP and 10 SP I've got the same thing so anyways that is it let me know in the comments what you thought about this let me know where I should work on what should I focus on because I kind of have an idea but maybe you, you you know your eyes could help me out a little bit more and you guys can set me towards a goal that I can work towards um, and also let me know in the comments who your top three characters are in the game that you have on your on your phone and your device and your top three accessories uh, like what secondary roles and all that anyways that is it love you so much guys maybe before I end it I show you guys how long I've been playing and how uh, many login days I've got so uh, you guys can get an idea of how long I've been playing so right here we take a look at this 
everything's maxed out almost look at that that's maxed out i don't know how to read that because that's japanese but you guys can translate if you like most used characters now my my story mode is almost completely done except for that the last couple orbs there and then i've had 394 login days on my jp so that's what you get when you play as much as i do and i guess um play for 394 days anyways that is it love you guys so much like i said let me know in the comments which uh your which three best characters you have and best accessories you have love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace